it's coffee time. Today was actually very eventful looking back on it right now. A lot of stuff happened today. And it's also very late because I went over to my friend Isaac's house to give a gift to Rosty because Jeannie and I went halvesies on like a holiday present for Rosty. He really, really wanted an Attack on Titan Survey Corps jacket. So we searched for a really long time to find like the perfect one. It wound up being this huge hullabaloo because the guy, after I bought it, the guy emailed me and asked what size it should be. And then we were trying to figure out what size he is and decided to say we needed a medium. And then the guy wrote back and said, well, my, all of my measurements are Chinese measurements. So you should double check this chart and gave me a chart to look at. And I looked at the chart and I was like, oh my God, are you actually an extra large in China? That blows my mind. And it turned out that it fit perfectly. So what can you do? It all worked out in the end. I was very happy. But I mentioned that I had never played rock band before. And it turned out that both Jeannie and Isaac were huge rock band fanatics. Like Isaac has the full on drum set that he's played a million times with. And Jeannie plays expert on guitar all the time. And so we played that. Rusty and I traded. Um, we alternated singing and bass. And I was really proud. Plowed. I was very proud of myself because I got 100% almost every single time while I was singing. I was like, yes, heck yeah. Not, not with bass. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend that I was good at bass, but I was able to, I was able to do the singing part. It all worked out. But, um, yeah, so that was, that was my evening. That, that was what I did this evening. Aside from manga pod, which I totally thought was tomorrow, I thought that our manga pod was legit on New Year's Eve. So I was like, okay, I'll, you know, go buy all the stuff to make my drinks and stuff. Because the plan was that we were all going to have, you know, yay, New Year's drinks. And I got a text from Aaron while I was cleaning my apartment that said, hey, do you know when you're going to be on for sound check? And I was like, well, what are you talking about? Oh, kitty, that's, that's the keyboard. What are you doing? I was like, uh, what do you mean? It's Monday. And she was like, yeah, we decided to do it Monday because on Tuesday, everybody was probably going to have plans. And I was like, that makes so much sense. That makes so much more sense than what I was thinking was going to be happening. But at the same time, like I was not planning on doing manga pod tonight, but it was fine. I was home. Like, it's not like I had plans. I was just like, oh, well, I'm, I'm cleaning my house right now. Like, give me a second. And they were having huge exploit problems anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. But the funniest part was that for the entire manga pod, Jeannie was just in my bedroom cleaning because she had come over after the other stuff that happened today that I'll get to in a second. Uh, she had come over being like, look, I want to just come help you organize. And I said, okay. <laughs> so she came and we went through all my mail. It's sad that this is what I need. She came and went through all my mail. She went in my bedroom and said, okay, I'm going to go take out your trash and I need you to pile up all of your dirty clothes into one pile, not like eight piles all over your room, just one pile. And I said, okay. And then we went through all of my shirts. It was, it was a lot. We were doing a lot. And then, you know, getting that text, I was like, oh no. And Jeannie was like, don't worry about it. I'll just keep cleaning your room. And I said, okay. Cool. <laughs> so she kept cleaning my room. But the reason that we were together in the first place is because my car has finally um, bit the dust, which is extremely sad to me. I've had that car for my entire driving life. Like it's, it's my car. I'm super sentimental about that car. Um, but unfortunately it's, it's time to move on. And, and thank goodness I've been like saving up a lot of money. So I'm able to get like a decent used car. We went to CarMax. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know where to go. Like, like, do I choose a car and then like go to a dealership and ask for a used car? And she was like, you could go to CarMax. Lots of people go to CarMax and love it. For those of you who don't have a CarMax, CarMax is um, the number one used car retail store. It's just like a huge chain. And because they're so big, they're able to give you really good warranties on cars. And they have like a huge database of certified used vehicles, um, which basically means they've double checked the entire thing to make sure that it all runs great. Right. Um, and they have a record of everything that's ever happened to that car and every amenity that the car has and blah, 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 blah. So I went there and sat 
didn't test drive anything, but sat in like so many different cars. He was just like, let me just show you all of the cars that are small-ish and have good gas mileage. I was like, okay, which is so overwhelming. I've never had to do anything having to do with cars before. So we just like went around and I sat in so many different cars and he was like which ones did you like and I was like I don't even remember I don't know which cars did I even sit in and Jeannie was like it's okay <laughs> it was ridiculous but um there's a car that I'm gonna test drive on Thursday I believe so that'll be good it'll be nice because I'm going to Palm Desert to like visit my family on Friday so, because my, my parents are there. So, um, it'll be nice to be able to safely drive there. <laughs> I was like, what timing, what misfortune. But at the same time, like I could have tried to drive there in the heat and had my car just break down on the road, which would have been awful. So I'm glad that it happened now. Um, but yeah, it's very sad. That car is awesome. But that car has also been through so much with me. Like if you look in that car, you're just like, dang, because I didn't, you know, in college, I did not take very good care of it. And it's obvious. It's so obvious that I didn't take very good care of it in college because I was just so scattered all the time. And I have some really bad habits about how I treat that car that I'm not going to carry over in my new car. But it, I mean, man, it was a champ for me for a really long time. So I'm, I'm sad to not have it anymore, but it'll also be nice to have um, a car that I can play podcasts on. That's like one of my, that's like one of the things I'm really excited about. Like pretty much most, most cars that are recent-ish at all, um, you're able to like, like play things from your phone or your iPod or whatever, which is mind blowing to me. I'm like, cars do that now that's crazy <laughs> but yeah so r.i.p raymond my wonderful wonderful car but i found um because the car used to be my my grandfather's so i found um a uh, a, a little tag that said my grandpa's name on it that was in the glove compartment and I've kept that tag for so long. And so I'm going to put that tag in the new car and it'll be kind of like passing on the torch. <laughs> I'll feel, I'll feel more like, you know, more like it's, it's okay. I guess I just feel so bad about it, but, um, yeah. So that was, that was what I did today. I go to CarMax and then clean my house and do manga pod manga pod was super fun by the way it was very off topic and very off track and weird but it was really really fun and um all of today it did not feel like monday i thought it was sunday all day it's not sunday right let me dub strip check no it's monday well it was monday it's it's past midnight at this point but the whole day i was like oh my god it's monday so tomorrow i'm gonna be recording a bunch of stuff and and we're doing um co-op cast so for any of you who are wondering whether or not that was happening this week it is totally doing it so i also need to do my speed bowl match because i haven't played that yet man i feel like the stream has just messed with my perception of time and like what day it is <laughs> it's very strange and also not not having work in the morning has really messed with me because it just keeps feeling like it's a weekend and i'm like no it's not a weekend anymore i need to be working <laughs> But I'm glad that, that I was able to get a lot of stuff done today. So tomorrow I can just focus on doing a co-op cast and then recording a bunch of stuff. Like that, those are my plans. Those are my New Year's Eve plans. So there it is. <laughs> but I'm happy with it. I think that it'll be good. Oh, I made a, a pile of a bunch of shirts that I don't, wear anymore but I love like the graphic on or like shirts that fit me really weird so I avoid wearing them like like what's the point anymore if you if you avoid wearing that shirt right so um I was going through them I was actually laying them all over my floor I was laying all of my t-shirts everywhere and I was like what am I gonna do with these and I've talked about doing this before but I never actually did it and uh I'm gonna I'm gonna finally like make 
a t-shirt blanket. I'm excited about it because I have a lot of shirts that I just love, but they just don't, I don't like wearing them, you know? So it just makes the most sense to repurpose them as a blanket because I love blankets so much. <laughs> like why not just turn them all into a blanket? So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed. But I hope you guys had an amazing day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. And tomorrow, coffee time will not be after midnight. <laughs> I know that the one yesterday didn't get uploaded until after midnight. This one isn't even being recorded until after midnight. I promise the one tomorrow is going to be like an on time one. But until then, I'm going to sleep. Okay. Hope you guys had an amazing day. Bye-bye.